What's up, guys? Peter Von Panda. Hey, you know I like listening to my tunes outside. It's getting nice. Uh, spring is here. So I picked up this Shaba VS25 Bluetooth speaker. It's an ultra-slim wireless speaker, as you can see here. And I just thought I'd show it to you because uh, it seemed kind of intriguing and and kind of modern and maybe even a little retro style to look. This one's in iron gray. It looks like they have silver, gold, and rose pink, kind of emulating the iPhone colors and the other thing is that it had like this kind of built-in kickstand so not only was it a, a speaker but you can kind of make it like a little uh, audio setup when you set up the whole thing because it has its own little iphone stand -in. oh my gosh well boom yeah Turn mode. oh okay right there so it's <laughs> waiting I, for device to I already connect. turned it on somehow which is wonderful and then it appears at the top of the box where they hide all the included accessories, which seem to be pretty plentiful here. So, looks like we have a three and a half millimeter cable for aux input or aux output, and then a micro USB for recharging it. Anyway, oh, let's get this plastic off here. All right, so first of all, it's in pairing mode already, and here is this little bad boy. I think it, man. All right, right off the bat, I'm I'm impressed. It looks attractive. I mean, it kind of looks like those. Porsche design Grundig stereos to me. I mean, it just has a lot of style. I, I guess I don't understand why more companies don't put more style into their speakers, but maybe they're just trying to make them look very minimalist. Thought I want to just give you a, you know, a, a tour of it. It looks like it has kind of this perforated kind of electric razor style speaker grill. It's definitely three dimensional. It has like a black chrome, shiny black, uh, but polished like finish around the edge here. You have micro USB, aux jack, TF card, uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack. You have a little pass through for a lanyard. Looks like you have your buttons right here. Uh, power, play, pause, volume up and down. You can see there's an LED light flashing because I think we're in pairing mode already. On the front here, you have a like a well, I guess it's like a speaker. I mean, this is definitely that speaker rubber. And if I kind of press on that gently definitely floats in and out so it, it's like it has regular speakers and then like a little sub I don't know and then on the back here is where we have kind of this bowed out kind of bulbous backside rubberized black plastic uh, kind of reminds me of like a Mophie juice pack and then we have some buttons right here might have to go to the instructions and then I'm not sure how this pops out here but I'm sure it does somehow oh there we go so that comes out like that and then this comes out like this so this is how your little kickstand I guess works and when you put that down like that looks like there's a little lip right there I guess maybe that's as far as you need it looks like there's a little rubber foot a little rubber padding right here so uh, I could probably pull off that plastic and then it would give me a little grippiness. So if I were to put this down on the table like this and then take an iPhone and put the iPhone like that back to back, what we have is like a little tented, you know, media playing station. Now, it could be kind of cool if you're taking this on a trip and then watching a movie and, you know, playing the, the audio out through the speaker. Obviously, this is for sharing it with someone. You wouldn't want to do that on a plane. But it's also kind of cool because if you had this out, say, on a picnic table or something like that, and the phone was there, people could pick their own music selection, and the speaker and the movie or the music controller are all in one place. Now, let's get this bad boy paired and see how it works and sounds. So I opened up Bluetooth, and you can see the VS25 already showing up there. Paired. There we go. Thank you. I am paired. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can play some audio. And I'm going to try to play something that's not royalty, uh, or something that's royalty free because I was going to get screwed on that. So, even though we none of us like Hail to the Victors, we'll play it. Obviously, control volume with your phone. But, like I said, we have volume controls right here too, so. So, this button is not volume up and down, it's forward and back apparently, because I've got the song playing here, and if I hit the negative, it jumps back to starting over. This appears to be play pause, 
which it is. Now, what I figured out here is that if I hit the negative, it's going to start the song over, but it will actually also control the volume if I click it and hold it down. So I can lower the volume like that, and if I hold the plus side down, it should increase the volume too. Then the buttons on the back is mode, light, and then Bluetooth disconnect apparently. So if I hit mode, FM radio. Right. FM radio, I guess. Not doing too well about getting FM signals down here. Pairing hit. mode. Now we're in pairing mode. I hit mode FM again. FM radio. Pairing mode. So we go back to pairing mode. Paired. And because it's already paired to my phone, I saw it just repair there. Uh, the light button here, I think you hold it down to get it into the light mode, and then there are three light modes. So if I hold it down here, looks like we get a little light kind of flashing around the speaker right here. And then I'm going to hit the light mode again here. Looks like we get a little light kind of reacting to the sound. And then if I hit it one more time, it calls it a fading light effect. The LED light will gradually light and fade. So it kind of just glows in and out like that. So you can add a little ambiance to your outing on your event, which is kind of nice. And so, overall, I mean, the sound seemed pretty good. I definitely could use this outside on a picnic table and play some jams and provide a little ambiance. It's a good looking speaker. Is it the highest quality speaker ever, especially for Bluetooth? No, I don't think so. And I think part of that is because of its limited size. I mean, if you look at this next to my iPhone, uh, 7 plus it's about the same size and so you know the ones that are larger you know I have a stand-up kind of a cylindrical speaker which I think has more volume but for its small size you know given that it's uh, pretty slim to and pocketable and that it has a kickstand and can hold your phone I think it has a lot of features and makes it a good all-round little Bluetooth speaker so check it out if you want it I'll put a link to it on the disc in the description Peter Von Panda with my Shava Bluetooth speaker, out.